Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I'm your host, the Honorable Greg B. And we're continuing on with some 1994 Series 2 tops. Um, we did part 1 last week. Go check it up out there. And also while you're at it, go down and hit that subscribe button. Hit the share button. Share it with everyone you know or have ever known or ever will know or everyone in history. Um, all, the, all the people from history. Abraham Lincoln should know about this podcast YouTube channel whatever it's called um <laughs> but uh also hit that thumbs up button if you if you like it if you don't for some reason i guess you can hit the thumbs down uh but then head on down to the to the comments down below and let me know what you didn't like about it or if you do like it or remember opening up these packs or have a favorite card or whatever the case may be let me know down below and why as you're headed down there check out the links i have for my blog my podcast uh instagram facebook uh twitter all that fun stuff. Also, if you want to get one of these pads for yourself in the background, there's a link down there for that. Um, I just picked this box up on eBay, so there's no link on where I got that. Pretty simple. Go to eBay. Hit in 1994 Series 2. Yeah. All right. So we're doing the second stack today. Again, we're looking for Paul, you know, big name Hall of Famers. There's no real rookies, or unfortunately, in this in this set. Um, but there's also top finest cards that we can be on the look for, and then gold and black gold, although we, we already pulled what will probably be our only black gold card uh, last week. Well, you can go check it out. It's a Marquise Grissom. It's nothing crazy, but hopefully that top's finest card, which we should get one, will be something cool. I Because, honestly, I didn't even realize they were in here, but uh, they're there. Top's finest. All right. Do it. Hit it up. Do it. Do it. Nothing to do it. Do it. What? Daryl Hamilton. <laughs> Bip Roberts. Then Alvaro... Espinoza, Brian Hickerson's kind of stuck to him. The, they haven't been too bad sticking together. Um, uh, not as bad as Series 1 was, but, you know, there's a little bit of sticking together. As I say that, these are sticking together. The gold cards seem to like to stick together. Uh, but we got two of them in here. Um, we got this uh, Coming Attractions, Paul Swing. I feel like we got this one last time, too. Yeah, not the gold version, but Paul Maldergold. That's cool. He kicked it off last time with uh, the first card from the first pack, but it wasn't the gold one. So there you go. Something different. Uh, Steve Buschel. Then we got Kenny Rogers. Um, unfortunately, Kenny Rogers, not this Kenny Rogers, the other Kenny Rogers, passed away recently. Uh, the Gambler. Different Kenny Rogers, though. I don't. I just thought I'd bring that up because he... Uh, whatever. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> John Roper, Brian Jordan. Um, Ken Griffey Jr. There he is. That's a nice, that's a nice card. A solid uh, Ken Griffey Jr. And we got uh, Jason Myers in the back there. Ken Griffey obviously had a very solid career for the Mariners. Coming off a 45-year home run, a 45 home run year in 93. Uh, he'd go over to, uh, to the uh, Reds and injury injury bug got him. And uh, he was never quite the same player. But he had some solid, a few solid years of the Reds before he bounced around. Ended up back on the Mariners, I believe. At some point, but he, I know he was on the White Sox at one point. But anyways, moving on. Uh, Rafael Palmero. I mean, you know, obviously this guy put up some huge numbers, but um, you know, he stood out there and said he never took steroids, and then got busted like two weeks later. So yeah, that wasn't or wh however long or later it was, kind of ruined his career and all that. Uh, Bill Kruger, Hippolito Pachardo. I think I'm saying that right. Hippolito. Pachardo. I'm going with it. Omar Vizquel. Um, you know, a lot of people think he could get in the Hall of Fame. I don't know. I mean, his his offensive numbers aren't anything to write home about. Obviously, his defensive uh, numbers are what... Uh, his defensive skill playing or whatever is what would bring him to the table, I would I'd imagine. But um, I, I don't know. Bob Tewksbury. Then we got Carl Rhodes. Rhodes gold card. Brad Holman. John Wetland, Fred McGriff. He's another guy, like, he put up some pretty solid numbers. They weren't the best. Um, he came shy of 500 home runs. Um, you know, he just, he was, uh, he's a verge guy for the Hall of Fame. And I, I feel like with this, uh, with the um, Veterans Committee, he might get in eventually. I mean, guys like Harold Baines and Lee Smith get in. I feel like Fred McGriff could definitely get in um, down the line. But um, not through the voting, the, the sports writers voting. Uh, Scott Kem Kamenecki, Steve Ho Hosey, and then we got some coming attractions of 
Um, Johnny Ruffin and J Jerry Spaulding. Lynn. Never heard of those guys. If you've ever heard of those guys, let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure they played... I mean, I'm sure someone remembers them. Playing baseball. Uh, Darren Holmes. Steve Sachs. When he was on the White Sox. They were on the Dodgers, obviously, and the Yankees. But not the White Sox. Hmm, okay. Move on. Obviously, uh, big Red Sox star there. Um, Hall of, uh, not a Hall of Famer, uh, I was going to say MVP in 95, um, with the Red Sox, and then he went on to Angels and Mets, but had a lot of injuries that kind of derailed his career. John Smoltz, Hall of Famer, uh, then we followed up by, uh, pit his pitching mate from that year, Ken Merker. Uh, then we got, um, Brian Harper, gold card, Jesse Orozco, uh, Terry Steinbeck, uh, Jeff F Facero, Todd Whirl, Bob Welch, who had a... Look at it. His, his uh, 19... Was it 1990? Was really good. 27 wins. That's a lot of wins. He is Cy Young that year, I believe. Um, Troy O'Leary. There's a... I remember Troy O'Leary. I don't know if... I'm not sure if this is a rookie card or not. I don't know. It's probably not worth much if it is, but, um... I feel like he had one in 93, rookie year. I think he was a 93 Bowman. Could be wrong about that. But here he was before he came over the Red Sox on the Brewers. Check that out. Um, all right, moving on. I should mention, by the way, 94 was a... I, I mentioned this when we did Series 1, but 94 was obviously a weird year for baseball. They had the strike in August and didn't finish the season. Didn't have a World Series. Um, so, yeah, not the greatest year for baseball. Uh, that's kind of one of the reasons why I kind of stopped collecting and, and whatever. But, um, I mean, there was more reasons to it than that, but, uh, we got Skeeter stuck to this other guy, Skeeter Barnes, Skeeter, um, Mickey Morandini, Terry Lovillo, Dave Hollins, sticking to Joey Cora, then we got... Todd Whirl, gold card. We've got Chris Jones. For a second, I thought it was, I thought they said Chipper Jones. I was like, what? Chipper Jones. Um, Chris Quinn, Ed Sprague, Ray Sanchez, Jeff Kent, Jay Powell, draft pick card. Still haven't seen that Piazza. Um, and we got. Mike Benjamin, Mark Clark, Mark Clark, Mark Clark. Um, of course, Marsha Clark would go on to have a big 1994-95. Uh, not, not, I mean, for reasons. <laughs> I want to get into it. Uh, Pete, uh, this guy, <laughs> uh, Woody Williams, got Joe Clink gold card. Uh, then we got Andres Galarraga gold card. That's not terrible. Put that in the good pile. Uh, we got Mike Greenwell. I think I mentioned this before in a different video, but Mike Greenwell lived um, uh, next door to my elementary school when he was in the days when he was playing with the Red Sox. Uh, John Wasden, draft pick card, way back Wasden as they called him. Eric Hansen, Tim Wakefield. Then we got Daryl Hamilton and a couple of coming attractions of Miguel Jimenez and Kurt Abbott. Kind of remember those guys. All right. The name sounds familiar anyways. Uh, moving on. Uh, we got Arthur Rhodes. Now, Arthur Rhodes, I, I want to say it was him, and I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I remember Arthur Rhodes and Omar Vizquel having, like, a real bad beef with each other. I remember there was one time Omar Vizquel was, I, it was playing with the Indians, I believe. I think Arthur Rhodes was still in the... I think he was on, still in the Orioles. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. I just remember watching it. It was like a sa Saturday afternoon game on Fox or whatever channel it was on at the time. And um, Arthur Rhodes was pitching and he had these these uh, really sparkly earrings. And Omar Vizquel came up and just started like saying something to the ump. Like, like this guy's earrings are like shiny. Like I can't see, blah, blah, blah. And then him and Arthur Rhodes and Omar Vizquel just got into it. And like, I mean... 
I feel like they, uh, I don't think they threw punches or anything, but I remember there was being like kind of like a big stir up, lots of yelling, the benches cleared. I don't think there was any punches or anything thrown. I don't, I wouldn't pick, I wouldn't pick Omar Vizquel in a fight against Arthur Rhodes, but there's Mike Stanley, uh, Kevin Seitzer, Kent Herback. Then we got Jeff, uh, Tackett, gold card, Andy Van Slyke. Uh, Donovan Osborne, Ben McDonald, Mike Perez, Rafael Palmero again, and Wayne Gomes. Uh, draft pick card. I remember that name. I don't know why I remember that name, Wayne Gomes. I mean, he probably went on to play. It's probably, you know, I don't know. Joe Klink, uh, Felix Jose. We got Alex Day, Mark Langston, David Hulse. Cards are sticking, you know, get down to the bottom of the, of the packs or the back the stacks. Start sticking together a little worse than the tops. Bobby Jones, gold card. Got Jim Leritz. Uh, Chris Gomez. Eric Plunk. Ramon Martinez, Darren Holmes, and coming attraction card. Did a coming attraction card of Kevin King and Eric Plantenberg. Can't say I remember those guys. Uh, all right, moving on. A couple more packs for today. We'll move on to next week and more more packs. Uh, Charlie Huff looking really old. That's not gonna focus. All right, that's fine. Jamie Navarro. <laughs> Checklist card, Scott Rosdinsky, Kevin Apier, uh, Jim Tomey, gold card, Hall of Famer. That's a good one. I like it. Uh, Dwayne Ward. Then we got Willie Green, Brian Jordan, Alice Burks, Skeeter Barnes again, and then Ryan Sandberg, Hall of Famer, Measures of Greatness. And the final pack for today... Maybe we find that finest card, hopefully. I don't know, fingers crossed. Um, we got Tim Laker. Sticking to Derek Parks. Then we got Charlie Hayes. Dave Burba. Oh no, we got the gold Skeeter Barnes. Skeeter. Skeeter Barnes, gold. I don't know. Oh, and Jose Vizcaino. Uh, gold card. Skeeter. Sorry. <laughs> Ryan Bowen. Uh, Scott Kaminke. Yeah, but that, that guy again. Brett Boone. Joe Oliver. And we finish things off with a Mike Benjamin sticking to a Dak Winslet draft pick card. Dax Winslet is his name. But uh, all right, that's going to do it for today. Again, this was 1994 Series 2 Tops Baseball. We'll come back and do the rest of these next week and the week after thank you for watching always as always hit that subscribe button like share all that fun stuff uh, let me know what you thought about the video down below give that thumbs up uh, and we'll talk to you next week when we do another stack of 1994 series 2 baseball thanks for watching bye